Wall Street Memes Casino. I'm fine. And Sportsbook. Andrew McCart, IFL TV. I'm here in Glasgow, and I'll tell you what, a bit of a random one today, but I knew it was happening, but it's a random fight for people that didn't know it was happening. The Scottish legend himself, Willie Lemon, facing Joe Laws. I mean, this one came out, the hat out of nowhere, really. So, yeah, just why Joe Laws? I believe Joe's a, a good... Joe's... It's, it's, it's kind of I feel a bit a, gate, a gatekeeper sometimes so no but I'm a gatekeeper for Joe we'll see how good Joe is and I believe I still like to challenge myself Fandy I still like to set challenges and Joe will come try to inflict a bit of damage on me and I'll be and I'll, I'll make sure it doesn't happen he said there that he respects you there seems a lot of respect up there but he did say that the first thing to go as you get older is your chin right so he's I think he's going in with the mindset that he's going to try and knock you out rather than make like obviously the referee stopped the last fight but I think he's going in there as that young man mentality he can't get beat by the older man in his words as well mm -hmm. so he's going in there to try and take your head off your shoulders I mean are you ready for that? Definitely as I said my, my chin I've, I've had pretty alright I've been stopped a few times but it's it's no stoppages of me going up, being put in my ass and not getting up it's nothing like that at all the last fight with, with Ricky in the first round Ricky hit me with three right hands right in the button and it didn't, it didn't shake me Although it was something else that stopped the fight, but I mean, just for, for, for being, being your chin, I will hop with a few clean shots on that fight, and I mean, I felt fine. I know Joe, Joe can hit a bit, Joe can hit, so he can, he's got big fucking overhand rights. No matter who I'm fighting, Andy, I don't want to be getting hit in the chin by anybody. I'm quite a, I can be quite an intelligent fighter as well. So, in that, in that, I don't think I can say, we'll see what happens. You said as well there that the, I said to the question at the press conference, uh, we, you were sort of teetering maybe that was your last one against Ricky Barnes because it was a tough fight, it was a grueling fight, even though you wanted to carry on, it was basically the corner and the referee right. that, that stopped the fight, but yeah. again, you're up against a hungry lion, I've seen Joey, he trains like an animal, he does really train, train very, very hard, he's hungry, um, and when he's got his back up against the wall, when he's fighting against somebody like and he's in their backyard, he, he comes with that little bit more intensity, um, so... Can you stop him then? Obviously, you don't have that many stoppages on your record in that sense as well, but you said his style suits you. Not Ricky, that Ricky Burns style, which is more jab, 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 jab. Somebody that's going to come rolling forward, that's going to suit you. So can you stop Joe Laws? The thing is, Andre, I, I, I'm going to be brutally honest here. I can hit hard. I've been a shit finisher my whole career. I'm not the best finisher. But the Joe will be different. He's going to come at me with everything he's got. And as I say, I'm good at reacting. That be my thing. I'm, I'm a sharp puncher. And with him coming towards me, coming at me, throwing his bombs, then I believe he's see the best of me. I actually believe he's see the best of me for this fight. <laughs> I know I'm, I know I'm an old cunt now, right? But I believe you're going to see the best, the best boy I'm in, in this in this night. And I'm no joking. Where did you get the hunger from? I mean, uh, Craig Stevens mentioned that you've got your young boy Drew there. You're fighting on the same card as your, your eldest son Jake. I mean, obviously they must keep you young in the gym, but. Um, Drew's still an amateur. I don't think it's ever been done when a father's fought on a card with two of his sons. I mean, are you going to carry on long enough to share, <laughs> share a card with Jake Andrew? <laughs> I mean, that'd be brilliant. See if I could do that, if I could last that long. Who knows? But as it goes through, Andy, I've got, I keep saying this one fight at a time. One fight. I've been saying it for, I've been pro now for 20, for, that's not 25 years. 25 years I've been pro for. So I have, so it's a long time. Do you know what I mean? It's a long time. But I still feel young. I don't feel. I mostly I feel young. I mean, it took it, I had to get out of my bed in instalments today. <laughs> so I did. But nah, once I'm up and I'm moving, everything, I, I still feel. I can still go and. If I had to go and do a 10 mile run, I could do it in a good time. I love all the hull running. I hate the fucking track. But I love hull running. I love training. And, and I believe. I believe. I fucking know. I've still got the hunger. Again, Tyler Jolly mentioned it up there as well. He said to the point of. He basically thanked you for sticking around because we get these arena shows in Scotland. Unless Josh Taylor comes to town, there's nothing for these young guys, big arenas. I mean, they, I mean, there's nothing wrong with these hotel shows and that you do showcase their, their, their skills on them. But to get these big arenas, 3,000, 4,000 fans in it, we need the Ricky Burns, we need the Willie Lemons, we need the Josh Taylors. So when you look at this young card with the Tyler Jollies and, 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 and Sean Lazzarini's and your son Jake and all the guys in the Gem Martin Crossings and all these guys, Luke Bibby's, do we have another Willie Lemon in amongst all them? Oh, I believe there, there's better fighters. There's better fighters in undercard than me at that stage of my career. And it's and it's obviously I, I've won a few titles and I've sold a lot of tickets for all my fights. So it gives the fighters a platform where they can, can show can, can show their talents. And it's a different see fighting in a hotel to fighting in an arena. 
it's a different atmosphere, it's a different feeling. I spoke to Jake and he says he couldn't believe the difference. You, you, you feel a bit more exposed, you're standing there and it's like... Big ring walk. Exactly, it's different and we need more fights like this in Scotland. Now, I'm at Boxing Scotland, I'm about all the gyms and I see the talent coming through. So maybe when I cut a year away from it, but I believe there'll be regular things I'm Scotland doing with, with some of the fighters that we've got. Well, you're actually giving me the buzz, man. I might don't know if I should go and get my fighter's licence and pro licence and get one of your undercards, mate, because I'm actually feeling like if Willie can do it, I can do it. You can do it. 41. You only 41? You're older than me, for fuck's sake. What a hard life, man. <laughs> <laughs> Edinburgh's a rough <laughs> city. Edinburgh's a rough <laughs> city. <laughs> I'm only joking. No, but it's... No. But man, I'm like, fuck, I'm 45 tomorrow. You dye your hair, though? No, I'll put a bit of gel in this morning first time. <laughs> I think Joe's about to wait until he's 50 before he fought me down off because this was meant to happen a couple of years ago. It was meant to happen a couple of years ago. I was in, I was out in Greece training. I was out in Greece training so I was, and I got, somebody told me, Joe always wants to fight you. So I got Joe's number and I FaceTimed I was like, do you want to fight me, Joe? Do you want to fight me, Joe? He's like, I'll oh, fucking do you old cunt. It, was, it, was, it was started for then kind of thing. But I respect Joe. I like Joe as a person and he's got a lot of buzz. He will fight anybody. So to, to finish off... <laughs> No, normally like to fight people who don't really kind of get on me, but I go on with Joe, but it's going to be an absolute war, Andy. It's going to be an absolute war, honest. That's way brutal. Listen, I'm looking forward to it. I think there's a fight in Manchester I'm probably going to have to miss. I'm going to stay here for the full fight. We can enjoy Willie Lemond against uh, Joe Law. So, Willie, wrap up for me right now. Thank What's going to happen on the 12th of April? Is it 12th of April? 13th? April right? What's going to happen? I'm going to win. I'm going to win. Clean, a, 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 clean, a, clean, a clean victory for me. So, as I'm going to be sharp. And Joe's going to give me everything he's got, I'm going to take everything he's got and I'm going to show him, I want to fucking show him how, how, how your chin doesn't go when you get older and how much I've got left in the tank. I'm willing, I'm willing to, to put it on the line and leave it on the line. Definitely, Willie. Really. Thank you so much, brother. I'll see you in the next one, man. Thanks, Willie. Thank you. Wall Street Memes Casino. I'm fine. And Sportsbook.